In this video, I am going to demonstrate one of the coolest feature in Power BI which is field parameter. Let's say for an example you have different visual on your page and now you wanted to filter your visuals depending on the selected measure that you created. How can I do that? Also, let's say I just wanted to show and hide my table columns depending on the selected value from the filter. How can I do that? Here you can see the magic. Now I have selected only two values and you can see only two columns are here. I selected one column and only one field is here. Depending on that, the other visuals also changing its value. So let's say it is showing total sales. Let's say I wanted to see total quantity and I want to see total profit. It is showing accordingly. How to implement this functionality and what's the magic behind the scene? Let's see that. But before that, if you haven't followed me on my Twitter and Instagram so far, do follow me. The very first step that you need to perform here is you need to update your Power BI desktop with latest version of May 2022. After that, you need to open the preview feature and make sure that field parameter is turned on. To get started with field parameter, go to the modeling section and over there there is an option new parameter. Select the field from here and it will open this pop-up. Now first provide the name of your field's parameter. So I am providing the name as parameter finance and here you need to drag some fields. So basically you can only drag measures over here. So make sure that you selected only measures over here. Now remember one thing in Power BI basically we are assuming that the implicit measures are supported like default summarization like sum count and all of those stuff. But in case of field parameter you must need to add measure here otherwise it will not work. So remember that point. Also make sure that you select add slicer to this page and let's create it. Once we create, it will add the slicers automatically on this page. With that, you can see that it has created a new table over here called parameter finance. And over here, it has this measure formula. So this is the display name of your slicer value. And over here, there is a name of function which is connected to your actual field. And 0, 1 and 2 is the sequence. So let's see if you just change the sequence over here, basically it will change the value in the measure as well. So over here you can see that and now I'm just clicking OK and see the sequence is being changed. OK, so you can play around with that. And also if you wanted to change the display name over here, you can change it here as well. So that functionality is also here. OK, so let me just revert it back. All right, now let's add any visual over here. So at this moment, you can add any visual which is not supported by AI and QA maker. So remember one thing, QA visual as well as any AI visual are not supported with field parameters at this moment. So I'm just adding my table visual and let this moment, let me just add my one of the column product and that new table which was created with field parameter from there, let's select this field. So let me just bring that up and by default, it is adding all these columns which we have added into our field parameters. Now, let's say I want to show and hide the value depending on the selection. I'm selecting this and it is showing only this column. Similar way, you can select the multi column from your slicer and according to that, it will show you the value. Isn't that cool? Now, let's convert it to any other visual. So let me convert it to column chart. And let me just add field parameter as y axis value. And over here as well, it will work like this. This is amazing, isn't it? So tell me in the comment section how you are going to utilize this feature. What is the use case that you are going to implement with this new feature? I'm really excited to see your thoughts in the comment section. Now let's talk about some limitation of this feature. At this moment, it is not supporting AI visual and QA visual. Second thing, at this moment, it is not supported the implicit measure, means the default summarization of the columns. We must need to add measure inside the field parameters. And the third limitation is that in the field parameter slicer, uh, let's say if we do not select anything, it is showing by default three values. So there is no none option over here 
to select okay so if you're not selecting anything by default it is showing everything okay so these are the three consideration you need to consider so that's it for field parameters hope this video helps you and values your time if so make sure you hit thumbs up and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me if you are for the first time make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me and if you are looking for any consultation this is the website and don't forget to follow me on my twitter instagram podcast and my another youtube channel with the short content with this this is thruvin signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye